Hello everyone. In this video, I will go over a numerical question with you in Excel that will teach you how you can figure out the total amount of money you owe on a loan at different points in time. So let's suppose you go to a bank and you borrow money for say 10 years and you're making payments against that loan. If you want to figure out how much money you owe to the bank, say after 15 months or 20 months or 30 months, well, I'm going to teach you how you can do that. And it turns out that you don't need to construct an elaborate loan amortization schedule to do that. So let me show you using a question. So consider Jim Franklin, who recently purchased a home for $300,000 on which he made a down payment. In other words, used his own money, which is $100,000. So if the house cost $300,000 and his own money was $100,000, this means that he had to borrow $200,000. He obtained a 30-year mortgage to finance the balance on which he pays a fixed annual rate of 6%. Okay, so he's borrowing $200,000 over a 30-year time period and the annual rate is 6%. If he makes regular fixed monthly payments, what loan balance will remain just after the 48th payment? Now, in order to help you understand this question, I've drawn this table here. The first column right here shows the month. Because it's a 30-year mortgage, this means that you're going to be making payments over 360 months. So 30 years, and each year has 12 months. So 30 times 12, which is 360. So this column goes all the way down to 360 months. Why am I doing this? Well, because I want to show you how you can figure out your outstanding loan or outstanding balance at the end of each month. Because time period zero represents today, here your outstanding balance is exactly 200,000. And you do not make any payment today. The first payment that you make will be at the end of time period one. If somebody asks you how much is that payment, that you can easily do using the payment function in Excel, which asks you what is the rate. Now be careful, your annual rate is 6%, which means that your monthly rate is going to be 6%, so 0 0.06 divided by 12. The number of time periods is 360, because that's the number of months and the present value is the total amount of loan outstanding. I'm going to press the F4 key to lock the cell reference, and now if you do this calculation, you get 1199.10. I can double click here and it will show me that every month, at the end of every month, at the end of time period one or month one, month two, I'm making this constant payment, which is what this is referring to. Now, when the first month is gone and you've made this monthly payment, this means that now the number of months remaining or the number of payments that you have to make is 359. So here I'm keeping track of the number of months remaining to the loan. As the months are progressing here, the number of remaining months is reducing, which is to be expected. Now here is the punchline. If you want to figure out how much is your loan outstanding by the end of month one, the loan outstanding at the end of each month is equal to the present value of the payments that remain on that loan. And so all you got to do is simply do equal to present value the rate is still 6% divided by 12, so that's fine. The number of time periods remaining is 359. This is the important part, right? Which is why I had created this column. We want to track how many months are remaining, how many payments are remaining. It's not 360 anymore because you've already made the first payment. So 359 is the total number of payments remaining. The payment itself, I'm going to take the negative of this constant payment that I'm making, and that is it. The total outstanding balance by the end of month one is 199.800, which basically means that in the first month, the total amount of principal that you paid off 
was approximately $200. And so now you can literally take this and double click on this because at each point in time, I'm calculating the present value of this payment for 358 months, 357 months. The question was asking you, how much is the loan balance after the 48th payment? Well, I can scroll down below to the 48th month. By that time, the total number of months of payments remaining is going to be 312. And I will take the present value of that 1199.10 constant payment over a period of 312 months. And bada beam, bada boom, the total amount of outstanding balance by the end of the 48th month is going to be 189,229.06. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning.